Today, we're going to be talking about the golden rule. Hey guys, it's me again, Douglas. And uh, well, I, I wanted to talk to you guys about something. And you know, I guess I do this a lot where I make a mistake and then I come to you guys and I explain to you, you know, kind of what I learned. But well, okay, I, I typically, I think of myself as a nice person. Okay, like I've got lots of friends and, and, and I, I share with my friends and stuff, you know, and, and I'm nice to them and stuff like that. I'm, I'm, I feel like I'm a pretty good person. But, um, well, I kind of got in a little bit of trouble and I realized maybe I need to rethink what it means to be a good person. So, well, actually, first let me talk to you about somebody who's not a good person. Okay, there's this kid at my school. His name is Asher and he is def- he's definitely a bully. Okay, he is so mean, like he pushes people and he steals from people and he calls people names and he's just, he's just a mean, mean kid. But I found his kryptonite. I found his weakness because every day at lunch, he brings a Diet Coke with his lunch and he drinks from the Diet Coke. And I saw this video the other day on YouTube where if you take this thing called a Mentos, like it's like a, it's like a mint kind of thing and you put it into Diet Coke, something awesome happened. So what I did is I, I got some Mentos and I went over during lunch to where Asher was sitting and I said, hey, Asher, look over there. And he looked and when he looked, I dropped the Mentos in his, in his Coke and then when he looked back, the Coke exploded all up into his face and there was Coke flying all over the place and he was, it was all over him and, and oh man, it was so great. It was so perfect. If anybody deserved it, it was Asher. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's a mean kid. And so I thought, yeah, this is totally, this is totally fair. He's a mean person. So I'm going to do something mean to him. Well, my, uh, my principal did not really see it that way. So, uh, you know, I got called into the office and I thought I was going to get yelled at for making a mess, but maybe he might even be like, Hey, good job, Douglas. Asher is a punk. That was a good job. That was really funny. But no, he, he sat down and I sat down and he just looked at me and he's got this He's got this big old mustache, and his mustache did not even move a little bit. It just sat there staring at me. And he said to me, he said, Douglas, that was unkind. And I thought, whoa, wait, no, no, I'm, I'm a nice person. I'm a kind person. Like, this this was justice. You know, this kindness has nothing to do with it. This was just, this was just me getting back at somebody who's a jerk to everybody. And he said to me, he said, Douglas, do you know the golden rule? And I was like, uh, the golden rule? Um... Is that the one where he who has all the gold makes the rules? And he said, nope, nope, it's not that, it's not that. He said, in the Bible, it says that we should do unto others as we would have them do unto us. And he said to me, he said, Douglas, would you like it if someone sprayed the Coke in your face and everyone in the lunchroom made fun of you? And I thought to myself, well, no, I guess not. You know, who who would want that? And he said to me, he said, and he's he's a Christian. He's a good Christian man, you know, and, and, and I, I really kind of look up to him. But he said, God doesn't just want us to show kindness to our friends. God wants us to be kind to everyone, especially those who are not kind to us. And so, yeah, you know, I got in trouble with the principal and, and, and I got a letter sent home to my parents and, and I had to go apologize to Asher and all that. But but beyond just, you know, the, the typical punishments they gave me, I, I felt really, really bad inside. I did. I felt really bad because I knew that I was not living up to, to what God had planned for me. I was not living up to the example that Jesus, Jesus left for us. You know, Jesus was God. Jesus is God. And when Jesus was walking around here on earth, there were people who were really, really mean to him. But he still showed kindness to them. He died even for them. So I know for me that I, I want to live up to the golden rule. I want to show people the kindness that, that I would like to be shown, even if they're really mean, even if they're not nice to me at all. I still want to show God's love, God's kindness to everyone. And that's my challenge to you guys is that you would follow the golden rule and that you would do to others as you would have them do to you. Hey guys, I hope you liked this video. Yeah, it was it was kind of hard to make. It's kind of hard to make these these videos where I I you know I learned a hard lesson. But the the hope that I have is that these hard times that I have will help you to to grow in your faith and become a better and stronger Christian. Because I think 
That's what God's trying to do in my life and, and in your life also. If you are a big fan of these videos, if you like what I'm doing, if, if you believe in this ministry, would you would you consider you know supporting this ministry? We could use we could definitely use your prayers. Yeah. Because God has a plan for this ministry, but so does Satan. Satan tries to mess it up. But I know that if we have God on our side that we can do anything he wants us to do. Anything at all. And also we could use we could use financial support too, because it, it kind of takes a lot of time and effort and money to to put these videos together. So if you would like to support this ministry, go to patreon.com slash Douglas Talks. Yeah, and you can see some of the stuff we got there. It, it kind of explains how you can support, but even, you know, even just like a dollar a month is a really, really big deal. And I just thank you guys so much for your support. You guys are awesome, and I hope that God will bless you. Bye, guys. <laughs>